Louisville in the black from right to left. It is Tampa Bay in their neon from left to right. And the referee tonight is Nabil Ben Salah. And we're underway at Lynn Family Stadium, final day of the USL Championship regular season. It's the teams who have met in the last three Eastern Conference Finals. These games tend to start out interestingly. Here's Williams on cue. J.J. Williams on a giveaway, 30 seconds in. A career-high 13th goal this season. This minute, the pressure there from J.J. Williams, then Cal Jennings forcing this pass right into J.J. Williams. The pressure, Shantosh trying to look for options, but relentless pressure by Jennings and Williams there to put their side up. It's through Perez and to LaCava. Jake LaCava step over to his left. LaCava off the post. That's how quickly Tampa Bay can counter on you. Season and why they sit at 58 total goals. Jake LaCava driving at this loose city back line. Chance brewing here. Maris leaves it. Jimenez. Cave feeds it wide. Tellefsen floats it. The header, the equalizer. Manny Perez ties it up in the 19th minute. And then the ability to find this ball out wide. And then the delivery. And then the run, the timing. And then you have to have that final action. And Manny Perez, that final action, that header, equalizes for Lou City. After conceding that first goal. Now they want to get out in transition. Jennings, LaCava running out ahead. Jennings taken down from behind by Ownby. And the yellow's coming out of the pocket. First yellow card of the night brought to you by World of Beer. for his team. And the Tampa Bay Rowdies goal was so early that we didn't really get to see. Plenty of big targets to get on the end of this one from Darty. Floats it top of the six. Williams tugged down, still save made by Zemla. And the call was made for a penalty. You almost had to wonder why it wasn't made sooner. JJ Williams completely dragged down, still managed to get his head on it some way, somehow. JJ Williams putting himself in a position on this corner to draw this penalty. And it does look like Forrest Lasso might have had a touch on that as well. And Williams for his second of the night, but he puts it over the bar. One's going to go in. So a bit of both of those things as to why they've had such a heavy tilt toward scoring in the second half. Correct, and that's why. Good touch inside here by Jennings. Cal Jennings coming in alone, takes it too wide. Can he recover? Jennings goes for goal and finds it anyway. His 18th of the year. When you're hot, you're hot. And now Tampa Bay's up 2-1. That, that second touch put him too far and at an angle that he wasn't going to beat Oliver Zemla and allowing Lou City defenders get back in the picture. But as you mentioned, when you're hot, you're hot. And the deceptive movement here, you think he's out of the play, just to pull it back and then the quick trigger there. But that first touch into space, leading himself past that loose. That goal by Cal Jennings. They're gonna feel like if they can fine tune some of these details. And they're looking for more. Here comes Jennings again. Cal Jennings saved by Zimla. No, it caroms in. He got his leg to it, finds it out anyway. The beneficiary of two deflections, Cal Jennings, and now he has 19 on the season. They play a terrific ball into Cal Jennings to score the second one, and then this ball from J.J. Williams. And 
when you have explosive offenses like the Tampa Bay Rowdies do, it's when you first regain possession, you look at Tampa Bay Rowdies, their initial idea is to go forward. And that's where J.J. Williams, he picks the ball up at midfield, and now come playoff time, some of those players are, are fully prepared for the role that they might be asked to be to play in because as you see in this matchup, you score early, Lou City takes all of the momentum, puts Tampa Bay Rowdies in the back foot as you can see because obviously emotions are running high. Lou City going down one goal, getting back in the match at 1-1 and then conceding two goals quickly. Maris over the bar. Tried to get one right back before the half, not quite. Moving defenders, manipulating space. Free kick on the way for Tampa Bay. A yellow card is attached to it for Kyle Adams. And right now... Give it away. Jennings on the run with Williams. Cal Jennings looking for his hat trick. And it's a corner. And it looked like early on, and here's this pressure again from Cal Jennings, and it looked like he had J.J. Williams earlier. Could have slipped a ball in between Kyle Adams and Sean Tosh, but elects to keep driving, but earning a corner kick here. Martin Powell's for Brian Ownby. Cam Lancaster for Niall McCabe. Two subs brought to you by Fortnite. Simple moments for Tampa Bay and does some dangerous opportunities. Yeah, they might see some of that physical play ramp back up in the late stage with this game seemingly in hand. Lancaster picks up a world of beer yellow card. The way the first two shots might have been going wide of target as well. But deflected on in. He has just been incredibly active all night with the press on the ball. But you do need to recognize what you need to grow from and the details that need to help you find success in the playoffs. And for Tampa Bay Rowdies. Perez, if he moved, now the strike taken, and it finds the netting. Maybe some hope at the last for Louisville. Piccolo wanted it, Tampa Bay found it, and there's the final whistle. Two rivals play another classic, finishes 3-2. Tampa Bay now has a chance to host the final.